As you all probably know, the NBA season is only a month away. With some of the best NBA duos coming back onto the court, let's look at an NBA duo that was on the court last year. We're going to take a look at Russell Westbrook and James Harden and the chances of them winning a championship together in Houston. They have a brand new coach in Steven Stylus that's looking to change up the offense and the defense. They're going to add more ball movement, less iso ball, and more defense. Now normally I would expect them to also eliminate small ball, but the way the roster looks, they're completely out of money so unless they make some trades they're stuck with what they got right now. And that means we're probably going to still see a lot of small ball. Now as for all this James Harden to Philly talk, it's never going to happen. Houston would never give up James Harden, and Philly doesn't want to give up Joel Embiid. You're not going to see Ben Simmons and Russell Westbrook on the same team, I promise. So that can be put to bed. So how long do Russell Westbrook and James Harden have to win a championship? Well, I'd expect about two to three years. Russell Westbrook relies a lot on athleticism, and if they don't see some successful runs in the near future, then you can expect the team to be blown up. And when I say blown up, I'm talking full on rebuild mode, like... Houston's not going to be in contention if they don't win in these next couple years. With duos like the Splash Brothers and Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving coming back, the chances of Russell Westbrook and James Harden winning a championship just got lower, and they already weren't great. The change of coach could help them, but keep in mind, it's not going to be easy mixing up the offense with this team because the roster is still structured on a lot of threes and little defense. Guys like Eric Gordon and PJ Tucker haven't taken a mid-range shot in years, and it's going to be difficult for them to adjust. The truth is, the odds are stacked up against James Harden and Russell Westbrook. They're in their early 30s, and like I said, Russ relies a lot on athleticism, and he already was injured last season. Who knows what could happen this year? With that being said, I see a lot of people writing him off already. Just because something's unlikely to happen doesn't mean it can happen. The truth is, an NBA team with James Harden and Russell Westbrook healthy on the roster will always be a threat. I also think with Houston changing up their offense and not relying so much on iso ball will give them an advantage in the regular season and give them a higher seed. And keep in mind, even though there's not going to be that many fans, home court advantage means a lot this year. You're in your own gym this time, you're in your own stadium, there is no bubble, you're not playing in the same gym all the time. So this will give the regular season a little bit more meaning than last year because last year there was a long gap in between and then they ended up playing in a bubble. You really saw a lot of teams that weren't expected to be good play great and you saw some lapses like from teams like the Clippers. Not excusing that choke job by the way. And as far as the regular season goes, keep in mind the Lakers are probably going to load manage LeBron James in at least the first month of the season and the Lakers are still not that deep of a team. It's just that in the playoffs, you only play five, six, seven guys. However, in the regular season, you play a lot more players because you need to rest your best players and keep them healthy. And also the regular season is the time to experiment with some of the guys that don't get as much playing time. So all in all, is it a long shot for James Harden and Russ Westbrook to win a championship? It sure is. There's so many question marks with their season coming up. However, they are two MVPs, they are two superstars, and they will find a way to get wins for this team. How far they go in the postseason will require a lot of luck, health, and them being at their best. Make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I want you guys to comment who you think will win the NBA championship in 2021. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more NBA content like this. My next video is going to cover Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson, the Splash Brothers. We're going to talk about how they can have a huge impact next season and how their title chances will stack up with the rest. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.